Hey everyone, this is Vintage Rob 89 here, and we have another cool review to show you. Um, if my phone beeps off, uh, that means I gotta go, so I'm gonna try to wrap this as quickly as possible. Uh, and uh, today we're going over Mattel's uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom uh, Target exclusive uh, six pack of dinosaurs um, from the movie. And uh, it's a really cool set. There's also dinosaurs where I didn't have to buy them in the attack packs because the ones that I needed came in this set. Uh, and I will point those out to you as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's just jump into it. Uh, <laughs> there's six dinosaurs, so uh, we're going to try to go through them all. And, and here we go. Um, and, uh, this is one of my favorites. It's the Pteranodon, as you could see. Uh, this is a repaint, I believe. I believe this was in the Legacy line for, uh, 2018. But, yeah, it's got a cool little flap. You can open up its mouth. And, yeah, and it has the scan right here to scan it. So, that's really cool. Um, also, sorry if I'm pausing, um, I believe this set says 2017, but it came out in 2018, so you know Mattel was really working hard on this line of toys, and, uh, that is why they won number one toy of the year for 2018. Uh, one of my favorites that was also a tack pack, it was a lighter version of it, but you also get, I believe... Wow, you get three of them. That's not that bad. So you could build a uh, a, a herd of them. And uh, I think this is really cool. Here is the Gallimimus, which I really like here. It's got the scan. It's a darker color. It kind of really goes in line uh, with the original Jurassic Park in the Series 2 Um Gallimimus from 1994. The only difference is, is the paint scheme is a little bit more movie accurate. So this is another cool one. It's got really... None of these really have any actions. A lot of it just has cool posability. I think besides the pterodon... Wait, I don't want to spoil it. There's... Uh, one that has a cool action. I won't be able to show it to you, but you'll get the idea. Um, so... Here's the other one. Oh, no, no, that's not it. <laughs> all these almost look all the same. That is something for another review from Jurassic World. Uh, you also get a cool uh, Dilophosaurus. This was available in a tack pack. It was more movie accurate to the original Jurassic Park and all of Jurassic Park. Uh, but this is a cool one that definitely you would see in Fallen Kingdom. It's a different color. It's... It's got a bluish paint scheme. It's got gray paint on its fins and uh, green splatter as well and a darker uh, piece of venom. And it doesn't shoot out. You just pull it out and you can stick it in, So, which is really cool. And this is a dark gray. So, so far we've reviewed three. Uh, and I really think they're great so far. And this is great. I believe this was for 50 bucks. Uh, another Gallimimus, this is a little bit more, I, I think, Fallen Kingdom accurate. It's a, it's a, uh, I'd say it's like a olive, olive cream color. Yeah, I'll go with, I'll go with a, a cream color. Yeah, I'll go with a darker cream color. Uh, it's got brown uh, paint on the back. Um, and it's got the scan. Almost all the eye colors are the same, too. They're all yellow, which is really, really cool. And then, this was available as, I believe, a Wave 2 figure. A Wave 3, I can't remember. But this is the Dimorphodon. It's very screen accurate. It reminds me of the ones from Jurassic World from 2015. But it's got this cool tan... Uh, tail, sorry, and it does have tan as well, some tan paint as you could see, and some reddish colors. It has the scan, 
and it has posability. You can open the mouth and close it. Uh, and the wings, they don't flap, but they have a ball joint, which is really, really, really cool. Yeah. And, you know, for 50 bucks, I got this. I didn't have to go out and buy it separately in the uh, Wave Wave 2 or 3 attack packs. And then, a lot of people like to say, and I believe this is... 2, 3, 4, 5... This is the sixth dinosaur of the set. Um, a lot of people like to say this is the colorway of the original Jurassic Park Raptor. Um, and this dinosaur was available in the Legacy line. But it was more of the Lost World colors. Orange and, and uh, I think, either brown or, or black stripes on its back. But this is brown and a lighter brown. So, uh, <laughs> and I believe the eye colors are even different too. So, yeah, very more accurate to the original Jurassic. Uh, and here it is. This is one of the main reasons I, I bought it for the line. Yes, the build-up came to this guy. Uh, this is her, actually. Build-up came to her, since all dinosaurs are female from Jurassic Park. But there is that one male... T-Rex and Lost World. But, uh, yeah, going back to this, this is the jumping raptor. What you do is you push, I think you push it back, let's see here. Or no, no, you push it back on its legs and it, it jumps. It's very gimmicky, it doesn't really work, um, but I really like the, the, uh, the paint. It's very accurate to the original Jurassic Park, um, and, uh, yeah, I wanted to get this because I, uh, I'm planning to keep one of my vintage Kenner pieces in the box that's a raptor. It's a Utah raptor. So I wanted to get this in place of him and, uh, couldn't get any better with this. So I really like this. And you can also pull down its mouth and push it up and it makes it look more menacing, which is really, really cool. Um... And it has a scan feature. So this is why you should get the line. And there's still a bunch of them at Target, believe it or not. I was there a few days ago. And I'm just curious if they still had these. But really, really cool. Um, so that's it. Those are all the six dinosaurs. Uh, my final analysis, 10 out of 10. Uh, Mattel, once again, did not go cheap. They provided the cool colorways. Uh, I have... Uh, the original decos of this in, in the in the separate waves of attack packs, and they're all great. Um, you know, it's just like you're getting all these dinosaurs for 50 bucks, and you're getting that cool jumping raptor that has the colorway to the original Jurassic Park, and then you get a Dimorphodon from Wave 2 or Wave 3, which is now hard to find, uh, and it was even hard to find at the time, but just a really, really cool set. Uh, and it comes in a cool big box, as you saw in part one of the video. But yeah, um, Mattel has not ceased to disappoint me yet. And yeah, you look at this, it's got a weird kind of squeaky noise with the flap. But you know what? It doesn't bother me. It reminds me of kind of the, you know, gimmicky... Uh, 1993 blue pteranodon where its wings flap aren't really the best but you know what you get this for the deco and the paint and the sculpting you get it for the cool opening mouth and for your figures or whatever you're doing with the diorama and you get it for the price too so that that's really awesome where it comes down to so 10 out of 10 on the six dinosaur set um for uh, Fallen Kingdom. Now, they do have another one with uh, one of the legacy humans. I believe it's Alan Grant. Uh, this was just all the dinosaurs, and I wanted to get them because it had a few that were Fallen Kingdom related and a few uh, going back to the original film from 1993. So, uh, once again, pick it up. It's worth your money. It's great as a gift, and that's all I have to say. So, we'll see you in another video, and take care. Thank you.